Well, today we're going to be looking at another colour form set. Uh, in my last video, I looked at the Space 1999 colour form set, and one of my very nice viewers, uh, a, he goes by the name of Adore Endure, um, gave me a, a tip on another set that was on sale on eBay at a, a very, very reasonable price, and it was a Battlestar Galactica set, which, again, one of the ones I've been after for a long time. Um, and I sent off it, and it's arrived, and it's much bigger. I think this is sort of how I remember the size of the uh, black hole one I used to have, so it's, it's probably twice the size. Yeah, yeah, it's twice the size of the Space 1999 one. Pop that over there. And let's have a look at what you get. So the box is fantastic. It's got such great artwork on it. It's almost worth framing or putting the box on the, the wall. So create exciting scenes from the Battlestar Galactica with colour forms plastic that sticks like magic. Can be used over and over again. Never wears out. I beg to differ. I'll show you in a second. <laughs> so this was, it's not a complete set. There's a couple of pieces missing, um, but it's almost all there otherwise. Uh, and it's in quite good condition, a little bit scuffed on the edges. So like the other one, it's the adventure set. So let's have a look. Pop that over there and see what we get. So you get the little booklet that again, shows you various scenes you can make so let's just have a look at that there we go. this one gives you uh, examples i remember i said on the other one that i remember that but uh, this one gives you examples of other sets so you get sort of suggested scene to create it's very exciting it's got a lightsaber don't know why Let's have a look what this one says. So this is to the parent. No, it's the same one from before. Um, no spelling mistake on this one. It does advise you though wiping the workboard and pieces occasionally with damp cloth will keep them clean and sticking like new. And you've got some lights in the way there. You've got some other sets, so Mickey Mouse, Snoopy, Ernie and Bert's Playtime, Cookie Monster. Raggedy Ann, Batman, that'd be a nice set to have, Holly Bobby, Holly Hobby, don't remember that term, it's been a doll or something, uh, Barbie, and very pink trousers. So, let's have a look at what we get. So, you get, again, two boards with four colours on, so you get more stickers because I'm just bigger. Now let's have a look at some of the, the artwork. Oops. Let's remove this one before it falls on the floor. So you get, um, I'm presuming that's meant to be Cassiopeia, Starbuck or Apollo, doing a bit of disco dancing. Um, they seem to like, they seem to think the Cylons had uh, lightsabers, so you got like fiery swords. A viperish spaceship. Oh. Quite a nice little viper there. Uh, the other side of a Cylon ship. Uh, the piece is missing in yellow. This should have been a little planet. And this was the sort of Commander Adama style figure, which I think we can see on the leaflet. So that was the, the figure that was there. What I might do is try and colour photocopy of this and, and stick it on just to make it look uh, complete and then we've got a Cylon and another Cylon lovely pink gloves uh, again the underside of a, a Cylon Raider some guns and I didn't know what these were but I think according to the sheet they're like the you know torches that they uh, held on um, Caprica in the, in the pilot episode. So I think that's them, which is a really weird thing to do, but then I suppose they only had a few photos to go off. And one of the photos they probably didn't have was the Avions because these are the fellas. Yeah, not, not very accurate them ones, are they? 
He looks fun. And then we've got our Cylon base ship. Weirdly, this the Mattel uh, Cylon probe ship from the toy line, which was never in a show. So this must have been done after the Mattel toys came out. You got Boxy with no mouth. Huge improvement. Um, guns. Weirdly, a star. Looks like a wand, doesn't it? Uh, and then on our inch run, we've got Athena. So it's one of the few bits of uh, merchandise to feature for Athena. Uh, you got Muffet the Daggett. He actually looks alright, doesn't he? Um, presumably some sort of Cylon ship. Another Cylon ship. Um, and then that's Apollo or Starbuck. I'm not sure which one's which on that. Interchangeable. Um, so what I was saying about the, they say they never wear out, but what has happened, I think these have got heated or dried out or something, and they've gone a bit crinkly. So I've tried laying them under a book to keep them flat, it hasn't really worked, so what I'm going to do is immerse these in hot water, then try and flatten them. This sheet, perfect, this one has started to bubble up, so I don't know what's happened to this, whether this had a heat source under it, but uh, let's have a look at the background this is a freaky DQ background so obviously again not from the show so you've got like a almost a Hoth gun turret from Star Wars you've got an X-wing type of ship from Star Wars sort of a rocky base I don't know what this is meant to be so there's laser beams coming out of I don't know light bulbs P bulbs, like seven ships. So let's see if this we can make a little scene. So we can pop a Cylon down and then Starbuck or Apollo. And then you can as well, a bit like the space helmets, you can put a helmet over them if you want. Uh, let's put a couple of ships on, shall we? So, They go stick. They do actually stick really well with the flat ones, the other ones don't. So yeah, a really nice set. Not very screen accurate, but really nice. So I'll keep an eye out for, um, see if I can get the two missing shapes. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm really uh, pleased with this. So thank you again to uh, Azure and Jure. Um, good spot. Thank you very much for that. Um, what I did notice as well, so I, I was sort of looking to see what other sets were available and there's a few others I'm sort of watching so I might get some more. But one thing that did come up was something, a company's doing some new ones so you can buy sort of similar colour form set but new and this one is Star Trek and it's called Stuck on Star Trek and it's, it's like a, a ring bound book and what happens inside you've got as the book part, you've got uh, artwork scenes from Star Trek. Let's go through them and see if we can recognise them. So that's the bridge of the Enterprise. So gorgeous artwork. Really nice. Presumably um, taken from a photo or something. It's, it's really nice. You've got the transporter room. Then you've got on the other side of that one, you've got the scene from uh, the one with the salt creature, which was the first episode broadcast in America. I can't forget, can't think of the name of the uh, the episode. I'm sure someone will tell me in the comments, but it's the one where McCoy finds an old girlfriend, but the old girlfriend is actually now a hideous monster. So we've all been there, haven't we? Let's have a look. The next one is now that's the uh, that's from Trouble with Tribbles, isn't it? That's um, the bar where Cyrano Jones got into such started such a memorable fight. It's a good episode. Uh, that's the Horta. Created a little hole. Look, oh, there's Horta babies. They're hot to be more. Yeah. Next. Next we've got the engine room, 
where Scotty would be tending his wee bands. Uh, Canyon Rocks, is it Canyon Rocks? Vasquez Rocks, something like that, where Kirk fought the Gorm. Then we've got Sick Bay. Then really nice, you don't they make good backdrops of figures and things, don't they? And then you've got a generic town. I think that's from the um oh, what's the episode? The one where they go to and it's Landru. Landru the computer controlling them. Oh, the other way. Terrible with names. And then the final one. I'll show you the stickers in a minute. Is Kirk's Quarters, is that? Looks like it. And then you get two sheets of vinyl stickers. And really nice artwork. So you get Kirk, but you can also get different outfits to put over Kirk. That's the outfit from that episode. Um, red shirt. Down to die. Tribbles. I'm a Dr. Jim. The Gorn. Sulu. Oh my. Uh, Enterprise. Weird. You get the Enterprise and a Klingon ship, but you don't get a space scene to stick them onto. Check off an Ahura. Gorgeous artwork. It's really nice. I mean, we'll, what we'll do in a minute, we'll compare it to the Galactic one and see which one's more photorealistic. The rather nice Romulan Bird of Prey. Romulan, fetching scarf, uh, Spock, Spock's disguise from City on the Edge of Forever, um, who's that? That looks like it's meant to be a go over something, oh it could be Spock from again the Lander episode isn't it or something, I don't know, been a while, a swarthy looking Klingon, it's going to focus, he's not happy is he? Uh, the Klingon D7. Excellent. Scotty. So what happens? Let's just have a quick compare. So really nice Kirk, highly detailed. Disco dancing Starbuck. Um yeah, so things have come on a bit. And then, again these are vinyl, so let's see if we can I've only got this this morning, so Hoping they'll come up. Yeah. There we go. So vinyl sticker. And then what you do? You can, actually you could put them on. <laughs> that works really well, don't it? It looks good on it. Let's get one of the Star Trek scenes. So we can put the Gorn in Kirk's quarters. Wanting a rematch. This is really nice. This was like six quid, brand new. So much fun. Um, you could, I suppose you could use it like a desk calendar and change the scene every day. But oh, I did kill for this as a kid. It's so nicely done. Nice cartoon artwork. So yeah, so that's the two, that's the difference. That's modern, 2018, 19 published book. And the late 70s vintage toy. Um, so it's nice to see that these vinyl sticker sets are still going. But... Uh, I hope they do more. I wonder if they've done any other shows. Be nice to get a Galactica one, wouldn't it? So thanks for watching. Um, if you want to see more of these, please like and subscribe. Um, if anyone else sees any more sets uh, going cheap on eBay, let me know. I'll be buying them up. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Thanks then. Bye. Oh dear.